Hello, welcome to Google Cloud Platform. So today we're going to talk about BigQuery and the Spring Boot application. Okay, and this first thing I'm going to show you guys, I have on Big Data. So let's go down here to BigQuery. First thing, okay. I already created my data set. Okay, I have a data set called Marketplace. I could even create like tables here or a data set. Even is, since I already have my data set, let's create a table. Empty table, okay, database. I'm gonna call it TechCrunch. Let's create a stable that we're going to use. Okay, table is empty, just created. Now, okay, I can leave it here for a while, no problem. Now, I'm gonna show the application. Here in this case, I have, um, sorry for the eclipse. Here in this case, I have a, the BigQuery dependence of a Spring Boot Starter which already brings a couple of dependencies like all those stuff for GCP core. I have so Spring integration, which is inside Big, our Spring Cloud BigQuery. I have the Google Cloud BigQuery is the most important thing where we use basically the BigQuery template, BigQuery template. And all the rest is just logic. And what I'm, I'm going to do now is just insert uh, CSV file, CSV file inside that uh, table TechCrunch. So I just create this table. In this case, right here, I'm gonna create. This is the table name. I'm gonna choose a file, which is my file is TechCrunch incremental CSV. Okay. Before execute, I'm gonna show the file. So this is my CSV file, CSV file. And we have these are my rows. <laughs> 1461. Okay, in this case, let's execute that. You're running. Yeah, no worries. Let's go into our response. Okay, we got 200. Now we can come in here. And this doesn't exist. So then come in here and query table. Open query editor. Let's do asterisk. Let's run the query. It's running. Yeah. We have all the results here. We can just double check the counting stuff. Yeah, that matches. Also the headers. Let's double check the header. Oh, sorry. Let's double check the headers. Yeah, role, permalink, company number, amps, number of employees, category, city, state, phone. Okay, all those. <laughs> those headers so that everything that we matches exactly and the first thing is the header right it recognizes that recognizes that so that's how simple it is to use uh, the spring boot application with the bigquery just in that case i just create a data set and i just uh, create a table name and after that i upload the file i can show the method so which i did it's like let's go to controller Upload, okay, that's right here. You have BigQuery, right to big table, right to, to date, right data to the table, not big table, BigQuery. Okay, in this case, I use the BigQuery template, which I specify the table name. Again, the put string of the CSV file, and I specify the options. In case here, you have all these options. In this case, I'm using the CSV. So also, there's things with, like, I've wrote this with Kafka. And that's it. Very simple to work with BigQuery and Spring. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.